Chapter 6, When Two Eras Collide. So this is 10,000 years ago. It's kind of gloomy. Look, there's only one moon in the sky. What's going on? Did we land on a whole different world? I guess even the sky looked different in this time. So Emperor Griffin is somewhere in there, huh? Yes, I can feel him. Griffin, he's in this palace. Finally, time to set things right. I'll wait for you here. I hope it all goes well. Okay, let's get going. So yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. I like how you exited the train twice. Yeah, well, I had to edit it. I recorded all that afterwards. Uh -huh. Look at the future. Past, I mean, past. Oh, right, so we're people uh, doing this Let's Play. Um, just in case I... you guys are wondering. Jeez. We have names. No, you don't. Stuff. Let's take a picture of this time train. Ooh, yeah. go inside and take more pictures. <laughs> what a scoop! Get out of town. Let's get another picture right here. You guys ready to fight the final boss? No. I know why. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Emperor Griffin is really like. Nobody's ever seen him. He controls his followers from the past. I don't know exactly what he's like. But I'm certain that he has tremendous magical power. He's caused enough suffering for everyone. We'll stop him for sure. Right. Looks like we're invited in. Then let's go! Don't go in. Well, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm scared shitless. I'm getting out of here. You should play some speed up, calm your nerves. Actually, I'm gonna go take a picture of this dead tree. What a scoop. For several reasons, that picture is missable. Before you leave here, make sure you take a picture of a dead tree. Because no one has dead trees in the, in the future. Yeah, they just, all trees live forever. They... <laughs> oh, open doors, what a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, final boss, for real. Let's do it. You've come this far. Excellent, just like myself. No wonder the Apple Media chose you. What? You must be joking. You're Emperor Griffin? What? Emperor Griffin? <laughs> That's the name you humans have given me out of fear. Well, no matter. A name is but a name. Yes, it is I. The one you would call Emperor Griffin, the ruler of darkness. That is me. <laughs> Griffin, you're gonna pay! Well, shall we get down 
into it. After all, you covered so much time and space just for me. The ears are up. The gloves are off. Oh, it is time. Time to fight. Question mark. May or may not be Griffin. <laughs> Griffin well, just said it's his real face. Well, yeah. Uh, oh my god. He's Griffin, using flowers. Griffin has two major attacks, uh, one of which is he bombards you with flowers that you dodge by going left or right. Flowers? An animal. I know. And the other is that one. Um, Welcome it's, to Animal Planet. It's basically a charge attack, except he doesn't need to charge it. And it goes through your defenses, pretty much. Which makes it really annoying and hard to deal with. Also, he's immune to bombs. Steve. Wow. Yep. That was awesome. <laughs> Just doesn't care. Wait, he's immune to Steve? Um, I'll show that off later. Oh, I should have just waited in the in the train. He takes reduced damage from range attacks, so I like to use uh, wrenches and swords on him. But it's more dangerous because charge attacks. So it's up to you, really. You're all about going in close and personal, hacking and slashing. Well, I tried to use my armband, exactly. but this is what happened. <laughs> At least it homes in on him. Yeah. Because he's moving around the screen. Humans don't truly appreciate the value of existence. Excuse me? It's because of humans that suffering spreads throughout the world. Hmm? I won't forgive you, humans. I won't lose to you anymore. What do you mean? You see, even you don't understand. You should be wiped out of existence. All of you should be wiped out. So, yeah. Surprise cutscene. Time for part two. Yeah. Which is the exact same as part one. I know! It really annoyed me. He doesn't have any new attacks after that cutscene. Maybe he'll, like, start monologuing some more, show you some flowers, blow some more flowers up. <laughs> All it did oh, was... Oh, no, wait. No, that's something new. <sighs> he had it in Form 1, though, so... Did you just speedy cheese? I, yeah, I did. Okay, I, I mapped it to my first slot, so I wouldn't have to go back to the item bag. Just cram it down your gaping paw in the midst of a fight. It's like, all right, I'm good to go. Anyways, this is Steve versus Griffin. <gasps> Yeah, um, he's, he doesn't really take any damage from Steve, it's not vibe. So, so Griffin is the future Steve in the past? <laughs> okay. Man, we Griffin. finally become up against an enemy powerful enough to take on Steve. <laughs> Steve is actually just like, alright guys, you gotta fight your own battles for once. Yeah, anyways, Monica's sword is so strong that it's more than a match for Griffin. Even though I had to eat all this cheese. Poor thing, you. Well, that's just you, not, uh... Well, no, I, I even guarded his attacks. Pretty sure in the future, Monica's gonna be fat because of all the cheese she ate. Quite impressive. I am finished. We won? Be careful. No! Damn! <laughs> I got them! This is what I wanted! With this, you will all be mine.
Now then, why don't we get started? It's time to purify this world. Have you heard the legend of these stones? The legend of the stones. He who obtains the three Atlamilias receives the power of the stars. That's right. That's exactly how it goes. However, these stones have another role as well. A somewhat different role. Huh? In these stones is enough power to destroy the world. The ancients feared the people of the future. Humans are dangerous creatures, possessing both immense wisdom and even greater greed. They knew that once humans built up their civilizations and gained great powers, they would end up harming the planet itself. So in order to ensure the planet could go on living forever, they came up with a special contrivance. The Star of Oblivion. Star of Oblivion? If humans controlled by greed were to learn of the existence of the Atlamelia, capable of giving them ultimate power, they would be certain to start a war to try to recover them. And they would ultimately fall into the hands of the one with the most power. When that time comes, all life on Earth would be wiped out, and the greed of this world would finally be erased. Time and again throughout the world's history, there have been mass extinctions. But this tale of ruin and destruction definitely won't be making it into the annals of history. Finally, the great disaster shall fall upon the world. The Star of Oblivion will realize its true glory! What are you talking about? If you do that, you'll be destroyed right along with everything else! Me? <laughs> That was my plan all along. I will be swept up in the cataclysm along with all of you fool humans. That will be my fate. Everything will disappear from the face of the world, and then a new world shall take shape. That's how it will be, how it was always meant to be. I won't let you do it! And just how are you going to stop me? This is out of your hands now. The change has already begun. Nothing can stop it now. <laughs> but just waiting around for it to happen would be no fun at all. I think I'll erase everything from the world just before the real destruction begins. Just sit back and watch.
All right, well, uh, let's let's go see. This isn't a cutscene. Let's go see what happens. You lied to me, Emperor Griffin. this looks like some kind of ruins i'm following elena's instructions she said to land here
Here it is. I'll set it up. Listen carefully, Max. Something truly terrible has happened. It's incredible. But somehow, Griffin has shown up in your time. If he continues, he could go through time, destroying each era in turn. So what should we do? The only way to stop Griffin is to attack his palace with our fortress, Pasnos. But it's not like we could just bring Pasnos to this time period. There is a way. You're kidding! At the place where you are now, Kazarov Stonehenge, there is a unique convergence of space-time flow. We must make a Chrono Union there. Chrono Union? It's when time and space envelop each other. We have to make an area where your time and my time will both exist in the same place. If we can do that, then we can send Posnos to your time from here. That's really possible? Yes, the Ancient Ones knew the secret, and Luna Labs deciphered it from their wall murals. We don't have much time. Let's get to it. There should be four stone pillars standing there in Kazarov. I see them! In each pillar there is a hole. The holes are there to receive four colored gems. Put a gem in each one of the holes. And it's possible to make a Chrono Union. But where do I find these gems? The four gems are hidden somewhere in your world. In the forest, the valleys, the sea, or in the mountains. Go to all the places you've ever been and search for those gems. They're definitely there somewhere. There is a key for getting the gems from where they're hidden. The key is hidden in the center of Stonehenge, where you are now. That's it. Now, if you find doors that open with that key, you're sure to find the gems. Okay, I've got it. We'll head out and find them. Even now, Griffin is starting his rampage again. Hurry, Max. Now you can jump to any place you like, in this time or the future, by using the Ixion's time travel system. With the Atlamelia stolen, the Ixion is our only means of time travel. And you can control the time travel system by remote, too. If it's a place with a time gate, you can go directly into the future, just like before. Use it carefully. Awesome! Convenient and cool! Well, so where to first? Remember the star symbols we've seen around? Maybe those symbols mark where the gems are. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. Let's go! So, welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I'm Scurvy Kip. <laughs> I'm Grizzly Chemist. You gotta collect some crystals. I'm Kasai Su. All right, now it looks like you've chosen fighter for your uh, your lead. <laughs> Good choice. All right, now guys, uh, we have to invent something. It's been too long. Oh. I'm not going to oh, tell you what it is. You have to guess what it is based on the invention ideas. Okay. Um, you know I might actually just get this. I don't think you will. Let's see. Is it speed up? 
It's Sfida, isn't it? It's a bone? You're making Sfida. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a bone blade. Bone. A bone, bone plus the moon. Bone the moon. The, it's the gun. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm not gonna bone the moon. And the ultimate Gaspar. Uh, bone the ultimate Gaspar on the moon. The weapon. The sun gun. and moon armor. No, that's not it. I don't remember. Panther boots. Oh. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Blame level five. Anyway, I guess you're getting off easy. This oh, time. This, look at that. I don't you have a hunter, want crystal. hunter crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So I guess you won't get to see uh, Monica's classiest footwear in this episode. Anyway, uh, we gotta well, go collect sucks. the four crystals of light so we can stop uh, chaos and. Chaos. Wasn't the main enemy in Final Fantasy one called Gaspard anyway? No. What was his name? Garland. Garland. Oh, whatever. Nice try. It was close. Mm, not really. Going back through the star route means that we have to retread ground we've already done. Three Dear mother, how are you? I'm pretty pissed off. I had to re do a lot of backtracking just to go through Stargates, mm -hmm. and it sucked. Anyways, Why couldn't yeah, you just make the future shot. things help us? We're going to massacre everything. It's going to be great. Except, yeah. Armband's not very good. Anyways, you've seen all this before. I don't like to show off too much mindless slaughter. <laughs> just know, th know that it happened. Wow. You just got kind of destroyed. You should have, like, a rioting crowd in the background, or, like, people screaming in the background, just to add to the effect. <laughs> just a, people, a bunch of people protesting just genocide. Just get more experience if you one-shot them. Oh, Svita. Oh, okay, good. we're not doing Svita. We already got the Svita prize for here. Ah, but so you're not going to do it again? If we did it again, like, it it's, is... it's a pretty easy challenge. It's in that big area on the left there, but... Whatever we'd get from it would be, like, two hunter crystals or something, so... Hunter yeah, crystals we could use those. to make Monica's boots. <laughs> you see where I'm getting at? Touche. Anyway, there's one extra step involved here. We have to get rid of this uh, Stargate. Oh, no. So much effort. Oh, man. It's a very fast menu navigation. Uh, if I skip past it, then I have to go back up, and that takes even longer. Yeah, you dropped the you hell out of that star. Stop sucking at it. Yeah, okay. He's got a point. Nice. Good, Thank good you. sound effects. See? I should have just been acting like a bunch of scared crowd people. <laughs> that would have made it so much better. <laughs> your John Madden impression is better than anything else, though. I don't, I don't like your falling tree impression. You know what? Looking for the Earth gem. Fishing. I'm not gonna do the goddamn fishing. You only have four more fishing medals. There are three more fishing medals. Fuck it. Seriously. Oh. Anyways, that look takes at this. Like, 15 minutes tops. Look, it's a new layout. Looks different uh, than before. It's slightly darker. And the trees are thicker. Ooh, yeah. You know what they say about thick trees. You're near a plot point trees. element. No, no, what do they say about thick trees? You're near a quest related item. The thicker the trees, the, the questier the plot point items are. Yeah. Oh boy, it counts a lot. So, does this count as a recolor? Because it's the same as a uh, man eating grass, but it's a rose. <laughs> oh. Wow, he just took a lot of help off. Uh huh. Yeah. He really took that square in the jaw. Which it it was sure is a good thing we didn't manage to get over those trees in chapter two. Somehow. Oh, sucky. Yep. Uh, chapter six is officially where they run out of creativity. So, is it safe to say that it's nonstop infinite recolors now, Scurvy Kid? No. Chapter seven has uh, plenty of unique enemies. Mm. Oh, you love it. Oh, that one has grass leaves in the like, hurricane. Yeah. One type that's new. What's the one type that's new? Remember.
Oh, that's wow, cute. Wow, I like how it's you're doing like... uh, very much damage with your wrench. Well, I don't know. Can you guys attack a hurricane with your wrench? I don't think so. I, I, would I can. And I will... Also, these count as new enemies, so... These count as new enemies, I had to show them all. Really? Yep. It's a new mimic. Even though they use the exact same... It's not even a recolor. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it just has completed stats. Yeah, it's just different stats, that's it. Also, we're still collecting Geostones! Da -da -da -da. I wonder why. Scurvy Kip, why are we still collecting Geostones? We already got 100% in Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Because you're not meant to get the jerk gun until last. Correct. So that you you honestly will end up getting uh, rewards of better and better quality as you go through the game. Mm -hmm. But by the time you get it, the Jurek gun is kind of useless. Yeah, I don't see why. It, it's kind of strange because you're not meant to have the Jurek gun in Chapter 2, but it's not a very good gun in Chapter 6. So. No. It's. I don't, I don't know what they were weird. going. Yeah, whatever. Good job, level 5. Do you want to see some impressive goddamn Speeda? No. I doubt I will. Oh, the classic Maximilian backspin. Jacked Mark II. It's a hole in motherfucking one. Jesus. Oh boy. Even though it was clumsy as hell. Are we seriously watching Dark Cloud 2 or Animal Planet? Because you are a goddamn animal. And they were the same up. color too. So, like, it requires skill. Uh-huh. Yep. That's what it was, and not you just Mount Thundor, then I'll be impressed. Damn if it. I ever saw you in real life with this Vita Club, I would fear for my life, because you know how to use that thing. Thank you. I haven't seen him kill anything. No, thank it. you. Oh boy, gift capsules. <laughs> <laughs> the game's just reminding me that I'm gonna have to go get all those monster transformation badges eventually. Can't wait till you get the last one. <sighs> so worth it. I don't want to spoil anything, but... It... Scurvy Gibbs trolling right now. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, um, yeah, we just finished the first level. For you, those of you at home that don't know, I suggest you don't look it up because <laughs> it's it's worth the reveal of what you need. <laughs> Damn it! Don't you hate it when you spoil a PS2 game? That was <laughs> from 2003. Like, yeah, like I was <laughs> just about to play it. Yet. Like, I've been meaning to play it for, like, ten years now. I haven't got around to it. Okay. Anyway, Ooh. this stage is called Something Rare Here. I wonder if there will be anything rare here, like... Rainbow, Rainbow Butterflies? <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> God damn it. Or no, Rare Bow Butterflies. That was terrible. That was, I'm, I'm leaning terrible. back in my chair, guys. I'm, I'm snapping my suspenders. Anyway, the first time I played this game, I thought that something rare here referred to the Earth Gem. Because the first stage was called Looking for the Earth Gem. That is not true. The rare thing here is from this Vita Prize. You'll see in like two or three minutes or so. Wow, they're really grasping for idea straws for their levels. Mm -hmm. You also um, might have noticed back there... It's a blue seal. I'm not allowed to use Monica, even though Monica doesn't have the blue Atlamilia anymore. Hmm. So, My in, the next level, in the le next level of, fuck it, here's a wrench in this level, uh, is there any cool enemies there? Um, there's this dude. Oh. There. Bit of I like how you're, like, not training your wrench at all. Um, I, I was, but I showed it off camera because... I'm training that cubic hammer oh right boy. there. Are you gonna play tennis with it? More Fire trees. Tennis? But it, it makes explosives. I can't play tennis with explosives. That just happens. It's free money. Eh. Essentially. I will never get tired of that, that animation. Takes care of you guys. Look how cool I am. Nice. Anyways, let's go play some Sfida. Yeah. Yeah. You actually moved? Well, I didn't really. I moved to it, but I got the experience anyway. I teleported like two feet away. Nice. Anyway, um, this makes me work for my rare prize. Look at how far away it is. After you get rid of this chest. Yeah, two choke crystals. It's important. But oh yeah, you can see it. It's all the way at the top left there. 
tricky what kind stuff. Of exciting, exciting uh, tricks are we gonna see today? If this, this is ma more Maximilian backspin, <laughs> maybe. No, not this time. Not this time. If this was a Mount Gundor, it would be completely impossible. Just throwing that out there. If you suck. <laughs> okay. So I, I wanted to get it in two shots. Because, like, shoot it there and then go over all the trees, but... No, nope, there were... There was infinite trees in the way. Yeah. Alright. So we're Let's making progress. We um, I was just going to move it here. But that's that's being cheap. Mm-hmm. And why, you've never done that before. Why do that when I can uh -huh. just shoot it there like a real man? <laughs> oh, are we gonna do see some tree bouncing? Eventually, I think. Oh baby, bounce those trees. Well not yet, for, I have to get a little bit closer. Do you know what happens when I try and play it cool like the game wants me to? Goes in the water. Right in the water. Now, I hate to jump to the conclusion already, but I just gotta know, do you get the prize? I do get Do them. you win the Sveta? I win the Sveta. Okay, good. Oh, he had to ruin it. Yep. It's I'm, I'm sorry, it's just... Well, look at this, I shoot it through all the trees. Yeah, there goes all the challenge. This is why I love Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Oh yeah, just, just drive that motor and it's in. it's max power. See, I when you do something like that, like... Max should just, yeah, he should have taken the ball in his hands and just kind of like punched the gate with it. Yeah. Anyways, let's find out what our rare prize is. It's a sword. <gasps> Amano Marakumo. Maybe. Oh my god. That's so Japanese. Desu. <laughs> you should use it. I will, actually. Look at the stats on it. Kawaii. Well, like, strongest of all. This is what I'm using I right now. I don't think so. It's cuckoo cool, cool, cut. It's definitely stronger than anything you have at the moment. Look, look oh, this, this is such a Japanese game. Why aren't you eating ramen and like Pocky and <sighs> and and memorizing the dance to the the melancholy of Haruhi? You make several good points, neither of which <laughs> I will respond to. Anyway, let's <laughs> continue on with this uh, LP. I want to I want to show off the new Daisu Kawaii weapon that we got. Did I pronounce that right? I hope so. No, it's it's Desu Kawaii. <laughs> you gotta really like put the, put the brash or the bracket dash in between the K A and the W A A A A I. Forty two people just voted this thread one. <laughs> <laughs> and if you excuse me, I'm gonna go memorize the Haru dance. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Welcome to Let's Play DDR. I'm Scurvy Kit. <laughs> I'm Grizzly Chemist. Whenever Swickhead's not here, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, notice that these things just kind of like fall to pieces when he's not here. <laughs> he doesn't even say anything. He's just kind of like the force that keeps us all insane. Yeah, the Arbiter. Yeah. <laughs> Scary tree. I, I wonder oh no. When it says tree, it I'm actually scared, means guys. it actually means rainbow butterfly. Okay. Scary tree bow butterfly. Yeah. Hold me, Kasai. More like rain stupid butterfly. Now, <laughs> I wanted to try out the new sword, but I couldn't find an animes. Oh. I need yes. the mimics want to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Jerks. The monsters finally just got tired of Max. Oh, All right, here oh. we go. Bring it on. Now this combo, it is, I love this sword. Look at how fast that combo is. Mm. You should be I more mean, impressed. Crazy. It's so awesome. Okay, I'm sorry. <gasps> wow, yeah. look at that combo. Oh, babies, that's seven swipes, damn. It's five, actually. Ultra, ultra. But like, that's, oh, it's so awesome. Wait, that's incredibly interesting shit right there. Yeah, I love this sword, it's the best thing. Look at her ponytail just going round and round. It's like a meat spin. Wow. <laughs> Voted five. God damn it, stay classy. <laughs> yeah, but we talk about some, uh... What's this game rated? T? Yeah, you let's wanna... talk about some T-rated game here. You wanna talk some T-rated games? I've heard of a great site. 
called the goatsy.cx. You go there sometime. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a whole website devoted to Max's inventions called lemonparty.com. You know what, guys? I try to keep some <laughs> class in here. I know I don't have the red vest anymore, but come on. <laughs> you lost all that when you put on that hunter's hat. Hey, look, we're done with the dungeon. Well, okay. <laughs> Much to your relief. Hey, all right. <laughs> Maybe you guys will shut up now. <laughs> what? Nope. All right. That takes care of you guys. You said it, Max. You said it. All right, well, let's try some Sveta then. Oh, that looks pretty far away. If I had the Albatross, then I'd be able to shoot it all the way across and be professional as hell. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting bored of Max and Monica. When are they going to introduce the new characters? Bax and Donica? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Come on. I'm sorry it took me so long to line up this shot. No, it's cool. Well, wow. no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry because I don't succeed in the end. It's like Speeda isn't slow enough. That one arc just needs to really just <laughs> take it all down a notch. Yeah. All right, let's see. Well, look, I tried putting Slice on it. We all know what happens when I try to use Slice. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, that looked like it got in. Looks like Time Distortion Tiger Woods isn't really faring well for you. Well, I got, I got a hole in one in the last hole. I think I think that makes up for this failure. Oh, well, second last hole. Last one, you got like a birdie times five. Yeah. Look I don't this. know golf terms. Look at this. Physics, what is it? What are the odds? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just going to get a shoot it, it right here. And if that doesn't make it through the trees, then it's impossible. Okay, do it. Maximum power. Close to maximum power. And it didn't make it through the trees. Yeah, uh, I, I let you all down. Time will forever be unfixed in this forest. Oh, well. That's just how it goes. It's not like time distortions are a big threat anyway. I could, <laughs> I could not succeed at Sphita ever, and time would be A-OK. -okay. We have a train that goes 10,000 years into the future and past, and no one really seems to blink an eye at that. Well, we don't try to go 10,000 years into the future. The Earth has been tainted by man. Mmm. Right, the old man taint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you word that differently? <laughs> no. Okay. Hey, let's go fight a boss. Hey, sleeping Earth Gem. Why is the Earth Gem sleeping? What happens if you wake it up? Why does this sound like a boss fight? It is a boss fight. Oh my god. I always thought these boss battles were really climactic, even though they are just mini-bosses. Which I yeah. like, it's pretty cool. Agreed. He's actually pretty tough because, um, you might have noticed up until now, Tors spawn Kotors inside them. Yeah. He spawns these around him, and they go through armor. Hmm. And you didn't see it earlier, but I broke the ride pod on a previous stage. Oh, man. <laughs> because I'm the best at this game, I promise. Everything's just dying. Yep. Anyways, let's show this tree how stealth shrevident my soul oh, is. Right. Good. Yeah. No cutscene? Nope. No, that takes care of you guys? No, ha ha ha, I won? No, dear mother, how are you? I beat up a tree. Nothing? Well, we'll, we'll take a picture of this here, uh, Earth Gem. Okay, that's close enough. I ate all the bread. Yeah, good, good. Celebrate this. Well, I, here's your cutscene, I guess. There, did that live up to your expectations? Yes, okay, bye. Later.